does Roberto Luongo fit inside the top five? For me, I had him at six. And the differentiator for me between Henrik Lundqvist and Roberto Luongo, whose career numbers are virtually indistinguishable from each other, is the fact that Lundqvist actually won a Vezina. Roberto Luongo never won a Vezina. It's amazing that he was a first ballot Hall of Fame guy and didn't win a Vezina. But I've got Hasek one, Wa two, Marty Brodor three, Glenn Hall, Mr. Goalie at number four, and whose numbers are still incredible for the era that he played in. And not to mention playing 550 some games consecutively. And then I got Lundquist at five. Who you got? And look, admittedly, <clears throat> my goalie historian uh, knowledge is is sort of limited to like the 90s and later. Um, and so I went with a lot of the goaltenders that you know killed it through those errors. And and I think Marty Brodeur um, is the guy. You look at the wins. You look at the shutouts. You look at the Vesnas. You look at the Stanley Cups. And Frank, I think one of the areas and and in the the um, that I used when I was coming up with this list was I, I looked at Stanley cups. Like I weighed Stanley cups and I felt that they were important, which is why I don't have Lelongo in the top five. And I don't have Henrik Lundqvist in the top five, uh, because I think at that time of year, you can't win, uh, without a star, a, a star goaltender. And, and to me, wins in the playoffs should be weighted heavier than wins in the regular season. Points in the playoffs, shutouts in the playoffs, all the above. I think it should be that way for skaters too. So when I put my list together, which you can see here, has some of the same names as yours and, and some a little bit different, I really did take into account Stanley Cups and Vesna trophies, which is why ultimately I didn't have the long go in there. And, you know, from my own playing experience, uh, being on that 2011 Stanley Cup team, you know, I remember the way Longo fell apart in that series. And he mm. did fall apart in that series. And he fell apart on the ice and in the media. Um, and that just always sticks in the back of my head. I, look, I love the guy on social media. I think he's phenomenal. I think he's obviously one of the greatest goaltenders of all time and in the top 10. But I certainly wouldn't put him at three, as was mentioned yesterday. What's up, hockey fans? If you enjoyed that video, then you need to be hitting the subscribe button right here at Daily Faceoff. Exclusive interviews and analysis from our hockey insider, Frank Saravalli, fantasy updates from Brock Sagan, and a daily live show at noon Eastern, Monday through Friday. You don't want to miss any of the fantastic content, so hit that subscribe button.